Okay, I've uh, got a problem with my Polaris. The, um, when I go to start, it just clicks over and um, it won't fire up the starter motor. So I'm thinking it's a solenoid that's got an issue. So I'm gonna take it into the garage and pull apart and have a look. Okay, so what we have here is, I thought it was the battery because I was turning it over. And um, you can hear the ticking in the solenoid. And I was looking at the volts and it was below 11 volts on the voltmeter here. So I was thinking maybe it's the battery. Stuck a new battery in there, made no difference. And then I hooked the um, starter up to it, a jump starter, and got 15 volts to it. And it still clicked. So now I'm assuming it's the solenoid. So that's what I'm going to check now. Um, and I'll show you where it is. So as you can see, the solenoid's down in here. And the, what I want to do is test it. And I can't test it from where it is. I'm going to have to pull all this off to get to it to test it um, and get it out of there because um, I'm assuming that's where the problem okay, is. Okay, so I'm going to pull all this off um, so I can get to that solenoid and see how we go with it. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite a big job to do that, but I don't see any choice. First off, I'm going to run with uh, this and get all these undone and then go for Okay that. then, so here we've got to undo this bolt here and that's a half inch one there, so we've got one here and one there. Got another couple of bolts here and they're uh, 7 16th, these ones here. So these here is to pull out the, the plastic grommets and I've got a socket as well as a drill bit. Now there is another two screws up in here Okay, so these ones here are three eighths there and there. So that's what they are. Then there was two little screws here and two little screws there and the rest were grommets. So we'll take that off uh, and we'll see. easy to get out of all that, so I'll keep continue to get the bolts again. Don't forget to rest your body. I've got to try and take all this off. Well, I can't get to the solenoid, the solenoid's here. That's where the problem is. So I have to take the whole thing apart to get to it. Um, right now. Yep, that's Tracy, my wife. She's a, we're video taking. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why it's important to have <laughs> these tools. Okay, so now. That bloody screw there. Otherwise that was gonna drop down and go somewhere it didn't want. this right off. Get access to that.
But now, it looks like it's the starter motor. After all that, I bridged the solenoid out here and um, nothing happened. So now I'm going to check um, to see if I've got some. This should be the power coming in. And we need to just hit here. So we've got 12.24 volts there, and here we should have nothing. No. Sure that the Holmes is working. And so we're going to have a low battery here. That's good. Yep, 11.75 sent down to the, so the solenoid is definitely working. So that isn't the problem. Solenoid issue, there's no problem. Okay then, so I've got to get into here to try and get that sparta motor because I'm assuming that in the starter motor, we're gonna have the, um, we're gonna find out what's going on because it looks like it is the starter motor now that the problem is. Here was I uh, hooked um, this up to the power lead, uh, which is here, and did that. Put it on, um, um, chucked it on voltage, and then made sure I got a good earth, so I went straight back. Uh, and then I just clicked it on, put the handbrake on, and then we got 11.82 volts to the starter mode. So and it's not even clicking. So that tells me that um, it's definitely the starter motor, something's wrong with the starter motor. So I've had to pull the air throttle out of the way um, and hopefully um, see if we can, see if we can pull that starter motor out because I'd say that that's gonna be the problem. Unfortunately. Okay then, so I um, undid the bolt here and uh, and then I just used some screwdrivers and just prized the starter motor out. So here it is. Now I'm going to test it to see if it works or not, and um, that will give us an idea of it, what's wrong. So um, what I've done here is I've set the starter motor up, and what I can actually do is I can get it working. Now while I was doing this, sometimes I can get it where it won't fire up. Most times it will, it normally has to come to a stop, but sometimes it can not work right to fire it up. But there is intimate times that will not go. That's not going to be one of those times now, is it? If it's already going, I, 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 it seems to be fine. Now I can't get it to do it. There it is. I replicated it then. So it stops and it just does not go. It'll probably go now. Yeah. So, that tells me that um, intermittently it just won't go and that's exactly what was happening. So what do you do? You just put a new starter motor in. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, so we saw the situation out. Now you have to order a starter motor and then um, fix it. So what I was doing when I was testing the starter motor over there and the more I ran it, the better it became. So I don't know, maybe it was just not being used enough. I don't know, but anyway, I've done that. I stuck it back in, put everything back together just enough to get the thing going and see if it goes. Okay. So, um, 
I know what I've done to fix the starter motor because I've done nothing except ran it for a few times over there on the test bench uh, and now it seems to be working. So anyway, it's working. Don't know how long for. I don't know if I really want to put it all back together to find out it doesn't work later on um, or not. But just notice a little rub mark here on, on that uh, fuel or it, Oh, oh my God. That's actually on the fuel driver line. I might, uh, I might put some sticky tape on that. I don't want that wearing through, that's for sure. Okay, um, there you go. Um, not sure what I've done, but um, it seems to be working fine. What I will say is I did order another starter motor. So I've got another one on the way. Um, but I just ordered one off eBay. Um, they look exactly the same as the original, but I did take a picture of the original starter motor. I'll see if I can get an original one as well, but um, $300 US for the starter motor from Polaris, from the States. Um, I'm not sure how much over here if you buy it for a dealer, but $71 on eBay. Let's give that a go. Okay, I just thought I'd um, do just a little bit of taping as I put this all back together. So, changing the starter motor now that I know what I'm doing is, won't say it's easier than I thought, but a little bit better. I won't have to pull the, the whole front panel off next time, but I was only doing that ticket because I thought it was the relay. Well, it wasn't nothing to do with the relay at all. So now she's coming back together. So, put these sides on, and as I'm putting it back together, I'm um, starting it to make sure <laughs> to make sure it's going to go together. Okay, all back together now, ready to rock and roll. Let's see if it works. <laughs> 